Hey Leo, welcome to your weekly love reading. I hope you guys are feeling great this week. Um, so this reading is for the 22nd to the 28th of March. It's a general reading, so please only take what messages resonate. If you do like this reading, please feel free to give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if it resonates with you. Um, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you would like to see more of these readings. And for personal readings and links to my other social medias, all the information for that is in the description box. So let's get started on your love reading, Leo. Let's see what is going on with you and your love life for the 22nd of March to the 28th of March. What is in store for Leo and their love life for the 22nd to the 28th of March, Holy Spirit? Okay. This is your present energy surrounding your romantic love life. This is your recent past energy. This is the energy that is guiding you for that week ahead. This is something you need to know. This is your near future energy. This is your energy. And this is your person's energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So you are really working hard on something in the physical. You're working, you're working on your goals. You're working really hard with a physical connection, with goals that you have. Could be focused on career. We'll see here. Anyway, your present energy surrounding your romantic love life. We have the four of pentacles. Wow, this is so similar to Aries reading that I've just done. It's like you're, you're a step ahead of Aries here. Um, so you're really trying to keep a hold of what you've got, what you've built up. You're really trying to keep a hold of it. You're trying to build solid foundations. Um, you're trying to keep a hold of who you are and what you've built for yourself. It's like you're trying to get a grip here. You're trying to keep a grip of things. I feel like you have been working so hard on something and you're wanting to keep hold of it. What I do feel you need to understand is there is a cycle, okay? There is this cycle that is going to be occurring. So you can't just stay and hold on to the same energy and not grow. That is not going to benefit you with, with um, in life or with a relationship. Everything, you know, has... A beginning, a middle, and an end, and then it goes back around to the beginning again. It's a cycle. But here, it's like you want just things to stay how they are right now. You may feel like you want a bit of a time out. You're really... I'm feeling here... You're just really wanting security right about now. You're just wanting to feel secure. You, you want to keep hold of feeling secure and stable. Recent past energy... We have the Knight of Wands. So there was a lot of fast action, fast movement, a lot of passion, a lot of change I'm getting here in the recent past. You could be feeling like you just want to time out right now. I feel like you just want things just to be easy at the moment. In the physical, you want to just keep things nice and simple and easy in the physical. Um... It's so weird because I feel like with the Aries reading and with you, Leo, I'm talking to, um, I'm talking to people who are connected, who are connected with somebody in the physical. So this may be like a cross watcher type of reading as well, because I'm feeling here that Leo is trying to stabilize here trying to protect what Leo has worked on, what Leo has built, trying to keep hold of things, trying to keep a grip, not wanting any energy to come in and shift and change here. I feel like... I feel like, Leo, you've been... Since Christmas, you've been just trying to keep a hold of things, how things are.
I'm getting that this could be also with your career as well. You, as, I'm getting here also with career. You really want to just keep everything stable, everything abundant, everything solid, and be very grounded in the physical. It's like you're very focused on your foundations here and being stable. The energy that is guiding you this week, we have temperance. So there is some, there is some sort of healing and balancing that is going to be going on. There's some sort of al alchemy that is going to be going on with you. Sorry, okay, guys. Um, yeah, so I feel like there's going to be some type of uh, emotional alchemy going on. Um, there's going to be... There's going to be some sort of healing that is going on, which I feel this is going to help you break a habit of really being so fixated on the physical and wanting to hold on and being resistant here to anything new. It's like you're very focused, you're working on something, you're set on something. You're set on something, you want to keep going with what you've built and... It's like you're really trying to hold on to it, but you're being a bit resistant here with the universe. But there's, it's like your guides are going to be doing some type of healing with you, which is going to help you be a lot more open here to, to different opportunities, different situations. Something you need to know for this week ahead. We've got the three of wands. So there is, so there is going to be... Um, there may be some news or something. There may be an opportunity that is coming in for you here. Um, or there is some energy that is coming in. It could be a person. It could be an opportunity. For some of you, I feel like I'm getting big career vibes. I know this is a love reading, but I'm getting big career vibes here. Um, and it may be that this is an exercise to help you open up more. But there is something here that you're going to be taking a look. There's some new options coming in. You're going to be taking a look at your future about where you're going to go. Um, there's something exciting coming in. It could be a new person, but there is something exciting coming in for you, which is going to help you loosen a grip of what you presently have right now, like the grip that you've got on. Um, it's a bit like rigid energy. Something new and exciting is coming in, which is going to broaden your horizons and open you up a lot here. Now, if for some of you guys, I feel like you're really kind of holding on to a setup that you've got here. You know, he's sitting on his front doorstep. He's protecting what he's built. He's protecting his home. He's protecting, which, yeah, could be like the family, but also this is an external representation of him. Do you know what I mean? All of these people in this house are... are mirrors of who he is reflections of him so like he may be trying to protect what he has physically but what he's actually doing is trying to protect himself you know who he is be resistant to change keep a hold of what he is what he's built what he's put his mind to and what I feel the universe needs to say is that isn't just it that's not the only thing that you can build for yourself. Do you know what I mean? There's other things that you can build. Don't be so um, protective over yourself and what you have. Open up because you're going to meet so many more people who are reflections of different aspects of you, who, who mirror different things to you. And your house then may end up turning into a village. Your house, your village then may end up turning into a country. Do you know what I mean? It's like you're very boxing yourself in, limiting yourself in here. Um, and the, the people that I feel you protect in, they are reflections of you up to this point. And I feel like on a subconscious sort of level, you're worried that by opening up, you may end up drifting away from specific people. You may end up drifting away because you'll change. And I feel like you don't need to worry about that. These are unnecessary worries that are going on here. I feel like you just need to be open to what the universe is going to bring for you. Your near future energy, we have here the Hierophant. Yeah, there's a lot about the masculine energy here. The tradition, the keeping hold of what you have. This is like literally about commitment. 
but I am getting here. Don't don't bite your nose off to spite your face because although tradition and honor and you know um, whether this is vows, yeah, here whether although that is um, that is really important. You can't just be in that energy because there's no expansion with that. If you're just going to be in a traditional way, how are you going to bring in any new evolution? You need the balance of the tradition and innovation. You need that balance of two. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's good to have these values. And you probably are really focused upon your values right now. Upon them foundations. Building values. But don't get stuck and rigid here. I feel like that is a key thing. There is something new and exciting coming in. Um, It may test you. It may test you um, with certain values. But I feel like if it does, then this is just literally your guides trying to help you open up and expand more. You may have somebody exciting and new coming in that is going to test you to your commitment to somebody that you are with. Somebody that you've been with for a long time. That you're trying to keep a hold of your connection with this person in the physical. Um, But there's somebody new and exciting coming in here. There's a new opportunity. Um, If this isn't a person that's coming in, there's an opportunity to do with career that is going to change you. It's going to help you evolve and transform here. And you're not going to be the same person as you are here to holding on to things so rigidly. Your energy for the week ahead, we've got the star. Yeah, you've got some major, look, all this water, look with the temperance, with the angel, you know, switching the cups to the cups. There's some change going on. And then the star, she's just there and she's pouring water in. There's definitely something emotional going on with you. I feel like you're downloading. I feel like you're going to be downloading this week. You're having some upgrades. I'm getting here intuition as well. Um, you're getting, I feel like you might be shifting from your being very masculine focused in your energy into a more of a feminine sort of energy, which is going to be really good at supporting this three of wands. That, that is something that you need to know because it's going to help you to receive what it is that's coming in. It's going to put you into more receptive energy. Now your person for the week ahead is justice. Person is quite harsh energy person is very um your person is very uh rigid here as well which again if you're holding on this might not be the best energy for you right now holding on to that rigidness because this high the high priest the hierophant and the justice they're giving me very similar vibes it's about doing things right you have to do things right you have to um, you have to, you know, be honourable and stick to tradition and balance things out. It's very karma sort of energy. But I feel this is something, yeah, you, there's something about you needing to build a foundation and having these values. I really do. And I feel like this person here, Leo, is talking about the person that you're with in the physical talking about somebody that you're with in the physical and this person you needed to learn something with this person you need to learn something about values about foundations about commitment about honor and this person is going to definitely make sure that you learn that most definitely i feel like you, there's going to be it's like this major point of your journey with this person coming up here there's this huge lesson there is definitely this big huge lesson about um being being true being true to your word being true to um your values and i feel this person is going to help you to decipher is that my true value? Is that really my true value? Is that really what I believe in? Is this really the foundations that I'm building? 
but there is definitely something new that is coming in. I'm going to take a quick look at that. I, I feel like Aries and Leo, the readings that I'm doing here are for those Aries and Leos who are in very masculine energy, who are being led majorly by their masculine. Yeah, we've got a King of Wands here. King of Wands. The Hanged Man. This is so much like Aries. And the Queen of Wands in reverse. Something is coming in, okay, something is coming in that is going to teach you about action that you take and whether the inspiration and the true, um, the true purpose for that action, whether it is, it is um, right for you or not whether it's high vibrational or it's not, whether you're acting from your heart or ego, that type of energy. It's like you're going to learn about whether you're building something, whether you're building something that is really singing to your soul here. Yeah, this high priest, hierophant energy, we've got the eight of swords. You may be feeling stuck in something as well. You're going to learn whether it's really right for you. Basically, you're going to be learning whether the situation you're in, in the physical, is really right for you. We've got the emperor there. Justice, what does your person want to say? Page of swords. Two of pentacles in reverse. They're seeing that something is not balanced. They're wanting to bring balance into something. So what are they going to do about that? What are they going to do? They are going to... They're going to fight for something. They're going to keep working on something. They're going to... They're going to offer love. And they're going to work at something with you. They, your person, so this person who you connected to in the physical is going to work on something with you, offer you love. You are the star. You've got some amazing, crazy energy coming in this week. You've got karma. You're completing something. You've got the three of cups. There's some sort of emotion here. You've got something from the past coming. This three of wands, it could be somebody from the past that's coming here. We've got a nine of pentacles here. Somebody very attractive and independent that there's anxiety with as well with that nine of swords. That's popping up to say hello here. Someone is coming, basically, to test you, to trigger you. To see if you really, if you really, they're going to show you whether you're, re if you're working on something, if it really is true for you. If it's really true for your heart and soul here. Yep, someone's coming in this week. Or if this isn't somebody, this is a situation. And it's going to highlight things to you. It's going to show you certain things of whether you really are working and holding on to something that really sings to your soul. Or whether it is you're just doing it to be responsible here. You've got an Ace of Cups coming in. There's a new beginning. And then we've got the shadow side there, which I feel is that's the devil in this deck. You've got something coming in which is going to be triggering you. There's a lot of this energy, though. There's a lot of this sort of karma, um, karmic lessons, karmic contracts, karmic completions going on at the moment. Big lessons coming in. 
Um, but this is going to be good. This is going to basically show you whether actually what you're holding on to and what you are really working on and building and trying to stay in, whether that is really singing to your soul or whether it's not. And it's going to help you open up to potential new ideas and new expansion. You're with somebody at the moment that are teaching you major lessons, Leo. You're with somebody in the physical who is teaching you major, major lessons about building foundations, about tradition, honour, responsibility, balance. This is a karmic connection that you're with in the physical, in the 3D. And I feel I'm talking to Leos who are in masculine energy, who are now going to go on this little journey and get connected back to the feminine, their internal feminine energy and gain some clarity here. Because you're not even going to have victory with this person continuing to operate in this way. You're not going to because you, you're, gonna, you're building something up, you're building things up, but through a, a lower vibration, like it's like fear-based or... It's like uh, there's, you're not empowered with it. You're not, you're not, um, it's not something, it's something that you feel you should do, not that something you, is natural. Do you know what I mean? It's a lot of work. It's a lot of effort. And then there's a sort of fear of, of losing what you've built. It's like there needs to be this reassurance that goes on internally inside of you from your feminine, which you're not getting because she's upside down. This is going to be a good week for you guys. It's going to be good. It's, going to, it's like a sorting out week. It's like a sorting out and getting back on track sort of week here. Um, but there is some passion that is coming in, some emotions, big emotions coming in here. Um, so yeah, and this person is, they want to work with you, they're supporting you, they are supporting you, and they're going to be, they're going to help you, they're going to work with you, they're going to be nurturing, they're going to be patient, they're going to, you know, they're supporting you on this journey. They want, they want victory and success with this cycle as much as you do, here. Here. So that is what I've got for you. Let me know if that resonates and have a great week, guys.